my Tinder automation video is doing well, really well. But getting views isn't all sunshine, rainbows, and ad revenue. People were getting banned. My engineering skills were brought into question. But let me just say again, it's a Tinder bot, not the Boeing 737 MAX. Then there was the French guy who added AI to the bot. It was ranking girls with up to 12 decimal places of accuracy. Needless to say, we had to shut it down. So what does it all mean? I poured a coffee and read a chapter of Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Then it came to me. There was only one thing to do in the wake of this chaos. Make another Tinderbot video. The first thing I did was book a trip to my next digital nomad destination. I sorted out an Airbnb and a flight. Taking a page out of my friend's book, I wanted to see if I could get a date before I landed. To put my money where my mouth is, I'd only use the bot. To make it work, I'd have to execute on a four-step plan. First, we'd need a few things to maximize our swiping power. To prove there was no cheating, I'd start with no matches on a fresh account. Then I paid for Tinder Gold, which gives us two critical things. Unlimited swipes and the passport feature, so we can set our location to anywhere in the world. Two, don't get banned. To avoid the ban hammer of Tinder, I introduced a bit of randomness into our code. There was a 73% chance we would swipe right, otherwise we would swipe left. We'd also keep track of how many swipes we did by printing the number out on each swipe. Finally, we have to hope that Tinder's bot detection algorithm sucks, because otherwise we're pretty much screwed. No more excuses. It's time for action. The main rule here is I'm not actually allowed to touch the app at all. So I fired up the bot and walked away from my computer. I made myself stay away for at least an hour before checking. Exercise is fundamental and it takes your mind off things. But I couldn't help but think I'd get an embarrassingly low number of matches, especially because I was coming with a new profile. I finally returned an hour and 20 minutes later to find we'd swipe through everyone. Unfortunately, tracking the swipes didn't work as intended. The counters were still increasing, even though we'd run out of people. I could have started it over, but wanted to be honest with you guys about what happened. Besides, like our boy Zuck says, move fast and break things. That, or I was just too lazy to start over. What we did have though, was 104 matches. This meant there was only one thing left to do. Send automated messages to each one of these lucky ladies. Not wanting anyone to cool off after seeing my profile, I quickly added an additional function to the bot. It selects all the matches into the list, clicks on them one by one, and sends a message that shows we're not trying too hard. We'd want to repeat this for every single match. It wasn't perfect the first time and took a bit of trial and error, but then we got it. I felt like a proud dad watching his son at a baseball game. So where do we go from here? Well, yeah, you could come up with some creative ways to keep the conversation going, but let's give our bot a rest for today. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I guess the next step is to literally just go there in person. So if you want to see what I'm up to, check out my Instagram. Otherwise, on a more serious note, I am very close to finishing my programming interview course, which I can promise you is going to be like nothing else out there right now. It's also going to be in two flavors, JavaScript and Python. So please remember to like for the algorithm and I will catch you guys in the next video.